What's up, guys? My name is All Experience Guy, aka Sean. And it's been a minute since I posted a video. You know, I've been having a lot of stuff on my mind, but hey, I'm making a video. So, for this video, I'm going to be showing you a way to make an intro. Now, there's a lot of other ways, but today I'm going to be showing you a sort of a glitchy intro. Now, before this video starts, I'm going to roll my intro, my new intro. Roll the clip. All right. So for this video, well, for this intro, I should say, you will need pocket, pocket video right here, video star, Fonto, and glitch video. And most of you that has I that have iPhone, you should already have iMovie. Now this is only this does only works for iMovie. I don't know the alternative apps for Android, but for iPhone, you need these apps. So to get to get started with this video, you want to download Fonto. Once you get into Fonto, well, first what you need to do is you want to go to Safari and find a find a background image that you would like to use. So for this video or in my intro, I use a cool sunset. So if you do cool sunset background, you get these backgrounds. So. In this video, in my intro, I use this picture. So you want to. So first, what you want to do is you want to save your picture. Once you saved your picture, you want to go back to Fonto, and then you want to go to Photo al Album. You want to go to Photos, and you want to click on that picture. Once you clicked on that picture, you just want to click Done, unless you want to do a filter. Doesn't matter. Now, and then you want to go Add Text, go to Font. Now, for, now, I use my fonts, but you can use a lot more fonts that they provide for you. But in this video, I use my font. If you want to get your own cool font, go to back to Safari and then just download a font from there. So one, now that you got your font or whatever, now you want to type in your name that you want to use. So, all experience or expectations. So let's just say this was your name for some reason. Now what you want to do, once you once you got all your stuff that you want to put as your intro on that's going to show, then you want to save that picture. Once you save that picture, now you want to go to iMovie. Once you go to iMovie, you want to click on that picture. You want to tap on that and click on Ken Burns enabled. You want to make sure that's disabled. Once that's disabled, now you want to put your make see how long you want your intro, 8 six, 8 minutes, I mean 8 seconds, whatever. Once you did that, now you want to, what you want to do is you want to add a music. Now, a, ba a background music so what i did was i went to youtube and basically what i did is i went to intro music and then you know there's a lot of people provide music once you go to music once you find something that you want to that you want your intro music to be you want to screen record it now i can't show that part because i am screen recording right now so i can't show that part but once you did that you want to come back to imovie go to your movie and then you want to add the video that had the music that you screen recorded. So it said, so this one right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the little scissors. You want to click detach. And then you want to, you want to move that video, that music. All the way over to your intro. And then you'll be able to delete the picture and then, and now, it will look like this. Once you did that, now you're good. So you got your, you got your text, you got your video, now you're good. Now what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna save that, you wanna save this to your camera roll, and then, now you wanna go down to glitch video. Once you get the glitch video, you want to click on this square with the camera inside. 
go to all photos and then what you want to do is you want to click click on a video just did click choose now this is where the glitching happens so let's so they got a lot they got they got a couple of glitch ways they got destruction trip motion and wave and they got split so for this one i'm going to use split so once you use split you're recording once you stop at how long it is so let's say your video is eight seconds you want to record this for eight seconds and as you're holding split and it will automatically go to your camera roll. Once you did that, you want to back out. And you want to go to Video Star. Once you go to Video Star, you want to click on a little plus. You want to click Edit Video. Videos. And then you want to click on your video, which is right here. Once you click on your video, you want to click Make View. Make Video. Now that you did that... When you see the beat drop, when the beat is about to drop, so let's say the the beat drops at right here. You want to click new. No, no, sorry about that. You want to click quick split scene. Once you did that, you want to click split at the exact moment where the beat drops or whatever you want to have it. Click split. And now you want to click new, re-effect. And then you want to go to this little plus at the bottom. Click search, the little magnif ma magnifying glass. Then you want to look up wave. And then the wave at the bottom, you want to click on that. Now, I know this looks pretty intense, but there's a way. You see this little bar right here? You, want, you can speed it up or slow it down. For this video, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Now that you did that, you want to click this little arrow down. And now, you want to click quick effect now it's processing once you did that once you did that now you're good now what did you're done with that you want to click share video with the music and then you want to go save video Now that you save the video, now you want to go down to pocket video. Start new project. Go to custom video. Landscape. Now that you went to landscape, you want to click on this little plus with the with the plus with the square. Then you want to click camera roll. Recents. And then you want to click on your video that you just made. Now, for this one, I'm going to use video sticker, and I'm going to add the recording screen. So what you want to do, once you get the video sticker, you want to click on Add, YouTube, then you want to type Record Green Screen. And then they have lots of options that, you, that's, that fits your preference. For this video, I'm going to use this one right here. Now that you do that, you want to click Done. Now you want to crop it to fit the video. And then you want to click mask, green screen. And then it should happen, it should work like this. Now that you did that, you want to click that check mark. And now you have your video. So you got your music, recording, and your name. Now that you, now that now that we're done with that. Now if now for the subscribe thing. Now for the subscribe. So what you want to do is you want to click the plus. Camera roll. And you want to do the same thing. But make sure. Now what I forgot to say is. Make sure that you have a separate one. That's a video. But without your text. So right now we're going to. I'm going to click another video. Now it should be like this. Now you're going to do the same thing. Video sticker. Add YouTube. You're gonna do the same one. We're gonna do this two times. Now that you did that, you wanna crop it again. Check mark. Mask. Green screen. Then check mark. 
Now it's like this. Now you're going to do video sticker again, but this time you're going to click add again. And then instead of record, you're going to put subscribe. Now there's a lots of options. So for this video, I'm going to use this one. You can review it, anything. So now I'm going to click on this one. Click done. And then you want to size it the way you want it. And you want to click mask again. And there you go. So now when you do this, it'll pop up like this. Now that you got your subscribe or whatever you did. Now that, now that you're mostly done with your video. So you got your you have your whole intro, then you got your subscribe. You can add other other um, other slides if you want to. But now that you're done, you want to click finish. No. Then you want to click save to camera roll. You want to go back to iMovie. Go to your recent movie that you just made that has your intro. And then you want to add your full intro. Now you have your full intro. Now you want to play, paste the music that you just did. To your video. And now you can delete this. Size your video. And then, just so it won't be overlapping music, you want to go to the to your intro, click on the sound button, and to and put that all the way down. Because you because you already have this music. And now when you play it, it'll be right all and smooth. Now in my videos, I like to have it fading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, to plus. No, sorry, you're gonna go to the settings bar right at the bottom. And then you want to click on fade in black, fade out black. Now fade out black is going to fade out. Now fade in, you're going to fade into your video. So now it will look like this. If we make it out alive, from the depths of the sea. If we make it out alive, and that's how you make it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.